So I'm going to choose 10 games and Joe's going to choose... I'm going to choose 10 games and Joe's going to choose 10 games. <laughs> I'm going to choose 10 games. Okay. What's going on, guys? So today we're going to be talking about 10 games each that we both want to play in the upcoming year. Yes. And this question was kind of brought upon us because, I mean, let's be honest, we always have a backlog of games. Mm -hmm. And I feel like talking about it today in this podcast is going to give me more incentive to talk to play the games. Yes. So that come December, I'll be like, I played them at the very least. Yeah. You know? Well, and the thing, like, yeah, that like going through this exercise of actually like going on the shelf and picking out 10 games to play, it's got me like all excited to play. I know, games. me too. Like, I'm like, <laughs> actually, I, like, I literally like redid my whole setup in this room, yeah. like to, to prepare myself to, to prepare be able to them, play yeah. them. So, yeah. so yeah, I'm actually like pumped to, to try and finish these. Totally. So. And uh, we chose some modern games and retro games, so it's like it's like a good mixture of everything. Yeah. So yeah. All right, I'll so start off. First one. Yeah, I'm gonna start off with a modern game. Okay. Gonna go for Gato Roboto. So got this recently, and this is like you know, cute little 2D black and white. Uh, I think it's a Metroidvania so kind of modern game. but retro style. Modern but yeah. retro. A, so a lot of my modern picks are. Yeah, like I say modern, but like that's yeah. that's what I mean by this. And what I like about this game, from what I've heard, is it's it's not a long game, and I and I kind of mm -hmm. like that. I like a yep. game that I can just beat in under ten hours. Looks amazing. Looking forward to playing that one. Yeah, like I'd love to pick ten RPGs, but realistically, I could probably <laughs> play one a year yes, and yeah. maybe finish it. So starting out, we're gonna go with. So this is the Onikin and Odalis mm. collection. Highly recommend it, but I've played a bit of Odalis, and that's the one I want to try and finish um it's kind of like got castlevania by it yeah i was gonna choose that vibes. actually too that's funny <laughs> yeah so great game i just I, i've played like maybe a third of the way through and i want to i really want to try and finish it sweet all right we're gonna go retro now so i've got Mega Man x3 Ooh. which i've played x and x2 and i played three once for like a few minutes and i i don't my something happened in my life and i just didn't keep playing it but I want to go back and play this game because I do like X and X2. X2 is the the better of the two. I mean, X is amazing, obviously. So I'm curious to see how X3 is. So that's on my list. That's fine. Like the two games you've mentioned so far, like I'm like, oh, I need to add those. To my list. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, like, no, the one game you've mentioned so far, I'm like, yeah. oh, that's on my shelf as well. That. So yeah. we're going to end up with 20 games each now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We have to go play. Okay, next one. Oh, and I, I will preface this. I forgot to say this, but we don't know what's on each other's list. This no, no, surprise. this is all surprises. Yeah. So. so this is kind of like a, a twofer, but mm, Metagal metal. and then the sequel Metaloid Origin. Yeah. So uh, I know you have this one for the Switch. I actually passed on it. Oh, I thought you got yeah, it. Yeah, I heard no? it wasn't okay. great, but like I've also heard it's kind of good. Yeah. And it's, yeah, I, I, I might get it. Yeah. They're like kind of like Mega Man clones. Yeah. And I tried to put games on here, like Dave said, like, we don't have a lot of spare time. So yeah. um, these are apparently beatable in like a few hours each. So mm -hmm. I kind of just count them as one game and I'll I'll try and get through them. Yeah, so, cool. Excited to play those. All I wonder right. if we have any that are the same. That's like... <laughs> That'd be amazing. Okay. So I'm going to go really retro here. Yeah. Going, to the, going to the NES. Crystallis. Oh, yeah. Okay. And yeah, this is I a, haven't played that either. This oh, Like this is a game that people rave about. Apparently it's very good. I know very little about it. Like it's an it's an RPG, but it's like Zelda. But yeah, it's like it, a, it's it, an action RPG. It's a quality game. Yeah, and I've never played it. And you know what? I when I was looking at my shelf, I'm like, that's there. I've never played it. Let's do it. So this is nice. going to be the year. We get a lot of people coming to the store asking for that game too. Anytime this game comes in, it sells right away. And it's I mean, it, it, they didn't make it's, it's it's obscure. Like there aren't a lot of them. Yeah, it's not rare or anything, but yeah, it's got a really cool cover. So I'm looking forward to playing that one. No, nope. good pick. Add that to my list. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so next one is Celeste. So uh, again, this three is for like three, a, Joe. <laughs> three for three. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so we've got the uh, the PS4 version here. I also have it on the Switch. I just prefer to play my games on the PS4, so I'll probably get rid of the Switch one. It's worth more money. So it's the original release. This is the re-release with like the questionable box art, but really supposed to be a really good retro style like one screen got to get from one point to the other so kind of like like meat boy in a sense yeah. but probably uh probably a little different but i've heard nothing but good things about this game so pumped to try this one out and so again this wouldn't take a long time provided you could beat the levels so we'll yeah see, we'll see if i'm good enough if i'm a good good as good of a gamer as dave I'll you, be able you to can do it, i believe in you so. you know it's funny that was actually in my original pile 
Oh, okay. And then I, I have like, oh, I got too many Switch games. I got to, I got to take it out. So yeah. I, I well, am... that's PS4. So just get a PS4 and play it on the PS4. Ah, uh, PS4. Go. <laughs> Dave doesn't have a PS4, and that Dave's okay with that. All right, we're gonna go. I'm just mixing up the systems here. So I've got Kadash here for the Turbo mm. Graphics, mm. and I've briefly played this as well. Like we're talking like five or ten minutes just to like play it, but I want to give it a good shot. I actually used to own the Japanese version of this game. And so I, that, that was the game I played one time and you get to a point where, you know, there's Japanese and I'm like, I don't speak Japanese you gotta learn or read Japanese. To get <laughs> and like, I was like, damn, I want to play this game. It's really good. So I got one of those like translators on your phone and tried to like put it okay. up to the TV and it just wasn't doing it. Yeah. So I want to give this another go. It's, it's regarded as one of the better or one of the best turbo graphics games. Yeah. So I definitely want to try that one. Yeah. Good pick. I thought I had that to my list. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. Every game you've done. So we'll see. Until you bring out an RPG, then I'll be like, wait a minute. So oh. this one I found on uh, like a Boxing Day New Year's sale. It's called Bramble for the Xbox One. I don't know a lot about it. Um, it was really cheap. And I <laughs> looked at the screenshots. I watched like a two minute YouTube trailer and it looks really cool. It's kind of like the story is like you're uh, a brother looking for his sister who's been kidnapped by like the monster. So it's supposed to be kind of like a scary, cool. like stylized, uh, like adventure game. So yeah, honestly, don't know anything about it. It's like but it looks really cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think <laughs> it's so. Not but, like uninvited. But uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this. And uh, again, I got it for the Xbox Series X because I just like to find random obscure games for that system. Yeah, totally. Gotta show, gotta show all three of them some love so that they. Yeah. They don't go bankrupt because I make a difference. One one thing I admire. <laughs> I buy. I so. admired one thing I admire about Joe among many things is that Joe has all systems and he will get the the best version for a system. And you're not like yeah, you're not just getting PlayStation or just not getting Nintendo. You you'll get for all systems. So very rarely yeah. do I get the Switch version. It's usually the worst. Yeah, well, well I, not for not for like the retro style stuff. That's fine. For, I'm different. I just I, I only want to have one modern system. I don't have the brain capacity to have all of it. I don't need to have a PS4 or five or an Xbox One. Oh, you Not that it. I don't think they're good systems. I just don't need them. I have a Switch, and I I only just got a Switch, <laughs> and I'm totally fine because I'm I, I've talked about this in other podcasts, but like I uh I I don't get systems when they come out. I wait many years. I have no problem with that. There's a backlog of games. Things become cheaper, and I think that's actually the way to go a lot of the time. Yeah. So cool. I just got a switch like literally a month ago. Yeah, I'd say true. I've only bought in two systems. Like, yeah. When they came out, even like for the switch, I remember like my nephew had one before I did. Yeah. <laughs> like I just didn't. You, buy it you right don't away. need it, and like even yeah. even my kids who are seven and ten mostly play retro games. They yeah. play a little bit of Switch now because they have it, but they were playing Wii U prior to that. We Leo he plays like NES and Super. Those are his favorite games. Because yeah. they're simple and, and easy to play. Speaking of Super Nintendo, although I don't think this is necessarily an easy game to play, Axelay. Mm. I yeah. have not played this game. And I, I will admit, when I watched the My Life in Gaming video this year, his, their wrap-up, they mentioned this game. And I was like, yeah, those I videos make it. you want to play games. Oh, so. if you don't know my life in gaming, I mean, man, their yeah. their channel's amazing. Stop watching this. Go <laughs> watch that yeah. and come back. Pause this. Yes, and yes. then keep going. But uh, yeah, it's it's a top down shooter, and I want to really actually. I think it's got both, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, cause, so like, yeah, I know. I think like the first there's like it alternates, and they wanted to use like the mode seven, so it's got like there's this mode really cool seven, curve yeah. effect. Yes, but then there's like side levels too. Yeah, so. so. Gonna gonna throw that in there. I love my shooters. Nice. And then this is like the kind of like the the meteor game in the pile. So um, I want to play FF Seven Remake Part Two. So I've got Part One. This is the one the PS Five version that has some of the extra content. Um, actually, kind of a harder game to find now. Uh, once they announced the second one, everyone was trying to get this one. So um, I use like the EB Games or not EB Games now GameStop. Like you can actually search for used games, and mm -hmm. they actually had one at Bayshore. So picked it up on the way home from work so um yeah want to try this one this is probably the longest game on my list that's why i tried to pick a bunch of like shorter platformer style games cool so, looking forward to getting into this one all right i will go back to the switch and one game i was really looking forward to playing is mighty goose this is looking this is like a run and gun kind of game like uh, gunstar heroes or metal slug and you're basically playing as a goose i've never running across. heard of that game you never heard of this game? No. All right, that's amazing. That that's a rarity. Yeah. Is that like a limited run, or is it? Uh, no, no, it's not. Um, oh, okay. But awesome. 
Yeah, um, I think I got it from PMP actually. If I'm okay. Not mistaken. Yeah. So, I when I started like last last winter around this time, I was heavily researching Switch games, and this game came up as sort of like 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 it's it's like a Gunstar Heroes like Contra okay. Metal Slug kind hmm. of game. So I like me those that genre. Yeah. Mighty Goose. I mean, you can't beat that title. So no, I'm, no. I'm really looking forward to playing this game. That's awesome. Yeah. You should tell the people how many Switch games you owned before owning a console. <laughs> I, I well I mean I, like I had like 20? 30 maybe 30 yeah which like okay only 30 but no 30 is a lot when you haven't yeah. played anything and like I've I've talked about this I really only get games that I'm going to play yeah so and I yeah. I I, I, so I've been purchasing games so in 2023 I bought games for the system and I've been looking forward to playing that one for a while yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So I'll have to add that to my list. Mighty that's, goose. That's crazy. The the ones I've shown so my first five picks were more like modern consoles and I've got five the retro pile. So I'll start out with Wario Land 4. But yeah, it's supposed to be a really cool platformer for the Game Boy Advance. Amazing. Um, I've played a bit of Wario Land Shake It on the Wii, and I liked it. So I was almost going to put that one on this list, but I figured, try this one. I heard this is the best one in the series. So cool. I'm going to give that one a go on the old analog pocket. Nice. Well, uh, going to go to the PC Engine. And we got here Ooh. Monster Lair. So this is a horizontal shooter. It's not your typical monster games. Like it's not like um, what are those games there? Oh, like Monster Boy or yeah, Wonder it's Boy not. It's not that. Land? No, okay. so it's, it's like a shooter. Okay. And uh, cool. Yeah, it looks really cool. It is a CD game. So did that come through the store, or did you just like buy that? This came through the store it many, did, eh? many years okay. ago. Yeah, okay. yeah. And I've had it on my shelves, and I'm that's like, that's awesome. I gotta play it. So you know that that's on my list. Love my shooters. Sweet. I th- I think Joe probably at some point is gonna be like, "Hey Dave, can you go get me something over there?" And I, I know yeah. you're, you're gonna take my that pile, and you're gonna be like, "Oh, <laughs> sorry, Dave, you lost your games." <laughs> so my next one uh, is on the Dreamcast, Super Magnetic Neo, and this one I've I knew about. I purchased it a couple of years ago, and I actually I just redid my setup in my room, so I was testing each system to make sure it was like set up properly and working. Nice. Um, before I move, like this one standing against the wall, it's mag- super magnetic Neo. Cool. And it's like a 3D platformer, and you your attacks are you basically like make yourself magnetic, and it's how you get around, and then you can jump on people and stuff. Nice. It's kind of like like Crash Bandicoot view. It's like from behind you, and you're you're going around. So, Sweet. But Dreamcast graphics, so really obscure game for the Dreamcast. Like it, it feels light. So I think I forgot to take the game out of the Dreamcast. It's already in there, ready to go. <laughs> yeah, so, that's so. the first one you're going to play. So yeah, this this will be my uh, one of my retro plays cool. for the year. Uh, also, I need to go back to this game. This is a Turbo Duo game. I think I think I said <laughs> PC Engine game. Yeah, well. The, yeah, you know what I mean? So anyway, it's got Japanese on the side it's here. It's a CD, right? It's a so, CD-ROM system. So yeah, I could, with Japanese. I could steal it from you and play it on my I uh, my Not that I have to say things perfectly. I mean, if I said t- Turbo Duo, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So, PC Engine, all good. So, I'm going to go back to the NES, and oh, I'll do that one, actually. So, got me some G.I. Joe, the Atlantis Factor. Nice. Now, I've played the other one, which name is, this, which is escaping me. It's the White Cart. What's the it's other one called? It's by Taxon. What's I, up? <laughs> I'm like, eh, what's it I called? think it's just called G.I. Joe. Yeah. So, it? yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do, yeah. do something we've never done. Grab it. Or maybe we've done that before. Yeah, a real American hero. So G.I. Joe, a real, a real American hero. I've played that. Haven't played the Atlantis Factor. I think think this this is the more I think that's the more this is the better game. But and that it's one's great. still good though. I yeah. Think. So I've I've had this and I haven't played it. So I thought, you know what? This is the year. Okay. Next up, Legend of Mystical Ninja for the Super Nintendo. Oh, so yeah. A lot of people talk about this game. I think it might have been in the My Life in Gaming video. I'm mm. not sure. I think, I think that maybe the year it, before. Maybe year before. But um, I remember renting this one time and not really like getting into it, but it's got like kind of like an overhead adventure portion. And then it's, it's got 2D side scrolling. It's mm-hmm. Konami, so it's got to be good. Um, so looking forward to giving this Yeah, one yeah. Out. People love so, those games. Yeah. Cool. Sells well at the store too. So. Yeah. So I'll do another NES game, Monster Party. Ooh. Now I have, I've, I've actually tried to play this game twice. It's really hard. Yeah. yeah. So, and, and like, but like, apparently there's a lot of co- uh, pop cultural references in it and obviously like kind of halloweeny so i will play this game around halloween that's kind of like my that, that's going to be my go-to halloween game yeah we'll nice. see we'll see how it goes i mean I, i'm going to try playing it like 
Never said I'm going to beat it. We'll, I remember we'll renting it. it when I was really little, and it actually like scared yeah. me. It, oh, really? Yeah. It's also one of those games that like I'm going to play it, and if I don't like it, I'm probably not going to keep it. Because it's been sitting on my shelf for like 12, 13 years. It sells really well at the store. It we'll sells well. well. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a good offer on that oh, one. Oh, good. I appreciate Five bucks. that. Thank you. Five bucks. Uh, so next up, PS2. So Klonoa 2, mm. Lunatis Veal. So um, I think they remade the first one and the second one in a collection on PS5, but I've got the original one. I've always wanted to play a Klonoa game. It's a really cool like 2.5D platformer. The first one on the PS1, it's like a four or $500 game now, I think, even more. Wow. I almost picked the remake on the Wii which also no one bought. So it came out on PS1, amazing game. No one bought it. Um, came out on the Wii, no one bought it. They just did a remake. Not sure if anyone's buying that one, but this is part two on the PS2. So it's like a two and a half, 2.5D platformer. Okay, like cool. Cartoony, like, yeah. I didn't know you liked the, the 3D platformers so much. Like, yeah. That's interesting. I I, uh... I haven't played a ton of them, but they're like, I'm, I'm always like, oh, if I had time, I would go play oh, those. Yeah. But, so you prefer yeah. almost, do you, you prefer those to 2D platformers then, I think? Not really. I just like the the ones where you, like, you know, there's like a hundred of these in the level, go find them kind mm-hmm. of thing. Hmm. Like, I really like the Mario Galaxy games. Like, those games are cool. I, I, I played Galaxy 1 and I, I, like I couldn't get into it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Interesting. That's cool, buddy. All right. Last one, because I think we're at 10 here, Mr. Yeah. Gimmick. And... <laughs> yeah, which, which I just... <laughs> which is so funny, because I came over here, and I had another game, and Joe Joe does... Joe pre-ordered this for both of us. We just used his account from uh, Limited Run, right? This is Limited Run? Yeah. So uh, it came in today, so obviously he showed up his house. I'm like, sweet, I'm gonna, I am gonna, I want to play this game. I have I think I played it on the Nintendo. I was one time at a buddy's house. Uh, Did he have, like, a, a collector friend. It was Tim. Or... It was Tim. Oh, yeah, Tim had and he, yeah. And, he, and, like, so I played, like, the first level, and I was like, oh, my God, this is amazing. Hard. And apparently you have to really get used to, like, the throwing the star mechanic. But once you get that and once you figure that out, I don't know. Well, this this game never came out in uh, in North America. So. Yeah, music's supposed to be really good, too. Yeah. But yeah, it was, like, a Sunsoft game that didn't get released. And I was very close to buying it on, like, a repro cart, like, I want to say, like, eight or nine years ago. Yeah. There was a site that used to make any NES reproduction, I think it was. Yeah. And they used to make a, it was like a green car. And I was like so close to pulling the trigger on that. Cause obviously I have no problem doing that if they don't, if they didn't sell it back then. Well, yeah. Like you had so, no access. To no it, access so. to it. But uh, anyway, looking forward to playing that one. Cool. So my last pick is Tiny Toons Buster's Hidden Treasure Ooh. for the Sega Genesis. Okay. So again, Konami. Um, I had Buster Bust Loose for the Super Nintendo, which is like one of my childhood, like, guilty pleasure games it's an okay game but it's really like not this i've played a bit of this game this game's a lot better um i've never finished it so just want to give this one a go and try and finish it but cool really solid platformer on the genesis also somehow really cheap still yeah i think i bought this before we owned the store i bought it off peter it was like 10 bucks i think it might be like 40 or 50 now but relative to how good it is yeah uh, it's still a really good value awesome Cool. Boom. All right. So <laughs> we'll make a follow up video in uh, maybe January next year. Yeah. And see how we did. And see how we did. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing these games. Awesome. All so, right. um, leave a, leave a comment and let us know what games you're going to play this year. Cause yeah. I, I kind of want to know like what the community is, is playing, whether it be new or retro. So what, what's a new release you're going to play or what's something you're going to go back to and uh, and give a shot this year. Yeah, leave a comment down below because that, that's how you, you find a lot of games, right? And it's well, also good to see what other people are playing. Well, well, yeah, because I didn't know what you were bringing and just seeing your list. I'm like, oh, like I kind of want to play that. So, yeah. Like people will comment and then I won't play any of these and I'll just go yeah. play like, other <laughs> stuff. So. Cool. All right, guys. Take care. Thank Cheers. You. Cheers, guys. Bye. How would you like to suck my balls? Oh, I wish they'd make. Mr. Garrison. Remember when that movie came out and you saw the theater and you are like, there's nothing better. This oh is, yeah, this I is like this that. is like the height of, yeah. of 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 like our culture. Yeah.